What up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Nerd Report. I'm your host, Pablo, and joining me, as always, is Mr. Brian Shows. Brian, we had a show that we did some time ago, Brian. It was called Rock Moves. If you go back and listen to our shows about The Rock, none of what you've heard recently is surprising to me or to Brian or to anyone that I've spoken to. Brian. 250 million dollars for a movie that perhaps no one really cares about perhaps only other than the rock and that he's starring in it and that if you want me it's gonna cost you this puts into perspective brian a lot of things one of which the drama between him and vin diesel there was a there was a uh, rumor that there was a shouting match between Ryan Reynolds and and The Rock, or there was some incident with between them because The Rock was late, and he's costing people money. Listen, the day that at the premiere when The Rock showed up in a red satin suit and everybody else was in black, should have told you everything you needed to know about how the rock moves you like that right go ahead brian so the piece is on the rap and it is a takedown the focal point is this amazon production red one which was supposed to come out this holiday season starring the rock and chris evans and it's now been pushed into i think it's actually been delayed but the feature point of the article is basically that Dwayne Johnson has been a major problem with the, the production. So classic diva behavior. They said he would show up eight hours, if at all, many days. I got my urination in a bottle right here. <clears throat> so apparently that became a thing where he didn't go to the bathroom. He literally gets one of his PAs to hand him a bottle so he can relieve himself right then and there. But just the treatment of crew you know, the respect for the productions. This is the one. The manner in which his team, Seven Bucks, operates. That to me, and then the story took that into the DC universe. And that's yeah. to me where it was like all that stuff that we knew <laughs> and we told you from the get-go was going on. They finally had like the Here's how it went down. Yeah. The whole hierarchy of power crap that he yeah. was spouting leading up to Black Adam's release, where they said his whole plan was to put Hiram Garcia and Seven Bucks in, in charge of the entire DC universe. That is what they demanded. They didn't ask, demanded. Pablo, I think we're going to look back. I I've said this. We're going to see a movie Adam, about this. Black Adam's historical place in the superhero genre is going to be underrated. Because its failure is going to be one of the greatest things that ever happened to these films in DC. Yeah. Because think about it. If Black Adam is a huge success, maybe they are running DC. Yeah. How could they say no? They yeah. brought in The Rock. He brought in the dollars. He brought in the profits. They handed him the keys. You know where that would have led? That would have led to the graveyard for yeah. good for yeah. how many characters? Yeah. But instead, that movie fails. And David Zaslav and company have the backbone and they have the leverage to say, nah, we don't need you in the position of power. We're going to go with Gunn and Saffron and one of their first acts is going to be take a hike. Yeah. That moment... That sliding doors moment, I think, could wind up being seminal in the history of, you know, the, this genre. But the best part that I love is the defense from Camp Rock, mm -hmm. where they said, "Oh, he was only like an hour and a half late." 
That's how you know the rumor is true. When the defense is not even that, oh, this is baseless. This is a, it's not. He was late. You know, he was late. He was late. He was doing his own thing. It just wasn't quite as bad as they make it out to be. Come on, man. Like, and it does also confirm that the shenanigans that they pulled around Superman, one hundred percent, why Henry Gar- uh, Henry Cavill fired Danny Garcia as his agent and walked. They were trying to pull off rock moves, and Henry Cavill was falling for it. He was believing it. He and tried he said, it. Okay. Huh? He tried it. He was on yeah. board. He, he, he announced that he was, without telling anybody else, he announced that he was Superman because to the, what Rock does is gets the people involved, right? Because right. the people run everything, right? They're the boss. Yeah. So the people demanded it. So if the people are screaming, yeah, Henry Cavill is back, he's putting up Warner Brothers at a at a at an impasse and saying, you know, how can we go against them, right? They look at the people, right, right, right. But they didn't buy it. They didn't buy it. And Henry Cavill looked like a fool. I'm sorry. He looked like a fool. That's why he cut. And it, was, it was crazy how you predicted that. You said like the the way months, we go to know <laughs> months before. I told you that's what they need. And he looked at his career options. And he was like, what did this get me other than public humiliation? I actually think, right. by the way, I actually think it 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 may ultimately, you know, I, there was a moment where I was like, I don't know, Henry Cavill's career, ooh, like we might look back at like a series of what ifs. He, this signs of life. You know, I saw Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. Oh, yeah. He's good in that movie. Oh, yes, he is. I think Highlander. I think that's a sleeper. Low budget Highlander with the director of John Wick, with knowing what Henry Cavill can already do with a sword from The Witcher. Yes. I think there's something yes. that could be there for him. Like it may not be as easy a road as Superman or James Bond would have been, but he 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 may yet wind up seeing the daylight after this. And then it's gonna go back down when he starts doing his Warhammer thing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing that is conspicuously absent from this expose about Dwayne Johnson is, you know, Chris Evans is the other lead of that Red One movie. Yeah. It ain't a single comment. He he might as well be invisible in this piece. He's not piece. saying nothing. He doesn't. He, um, he wants Chris no Evans, part of this. He don't want no, he don't want no, you know, he's just there to do his job. <laughs> I'll tell you this. He ain't there to win. He better collect that pizzay check. <laughs> Brian. How the way I see the rock trying to trying, Brian, to like fix everything is like probably apologize and then try to move on. No, I actually don't agree with that. So what do you think is gonna happen? I don't think he's gonna apologize at all. What is he gonna do, you think? I think we're already seeing Because he's what- apologized in the past for doing stuff that he, people, he apologized for trying to collect money for Hawaii and stuff like that. And then, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but that, I don't know. This is people saying enough is enough. Yeah. We're done with rock moves. Well, I think his days of being sort of, the judge, jury, and executioner of his own career are over. And I don't think he is willing to accept that yet, but I think we're there. He's going to capitulate to some having to be managed. It's happened to everyone, right? I mean, look at the history of people who especially wanted to be action stars. It happened to everyone. Not as high profile necessarily. You know, I don't remember the expose or takedown of Schwarzenegger necessarily, but it happened to him, right? He had that he had that run from Predator to True Lies, where he seemed infallible. Neighbor. And he was the highest paid, you know, he was the $20 million guy. And then all of a sudden he went cold. Now he's you know, making Batman commercials. And Robin happens, <laughs> right? Like, and then all of a sudden it's like end of days, right? Like all of a sudden, yeah, like yeah. It, you know, it goes quick. Yeah, yeah. The loan yeah. is obviously very high profile, right? Because he went, he had Rambo and Rocky. And then he, the bridge too far winds up being Cobra. And that sort of leads to a, a, a descent, which still had some hits like Cliffhanger. 
but he was never the same. Like, you know, you look at Stallone in 85, Rambo 2, Rocky 4. Like, if you said at that moment that that guy five or six years later was going to be doing like, what was it? Uh, the baby's mom don't stop. The, what was the mom, the babysitter's day? Like, you would say, right, like five years later. That's but, five but you, years later. But you know, it was Arnold that uh, tricked him into taking that role. Arnold took his belt. I mean, <laughs> basically, right, in that time. But this is my yeah. point. It's happened to all these guys. Yeah. And what I see The Rock doing is what I would have expected him to do. He is not a risk taker. He is someone in my mind who has sold short his own talent as a performer, as an actor. What is he doing right now? He is doing Moana 2. He has Let's magically all of that TBD. Yeah. He's magically kissed and made up with the Fast and Furious family and is cameoed at the end of, you know, Fast X. They may not need him after this, but go ahead. But I'm just saying he's yeah. leaning back into the things that have already worked. He is not trying to reinvent himself as an mm. actor. And oh, by the way, I think I just saw him headline WrestleMania again. Why do you think he's doing that? Yeah. These are all of the familiar playgrounds that made him famous, that got him 400 yeah. million followers. But you look, yeah. and, and I'd even throw in his lack of a political slant, which I think is pretty funny considering that, you know, think about this seven years ago, or was it seven years? Yeah, six, seven years ago, there were people that were legitimately being like, The Rock should run for president. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now he's like, I don't want to endorse anybody. It's like, yeah, because you need every last gate receipt you could possibly <laughs> get for your projects. Yeah, yeah. So that's what I mean by he's not going to apologize. Okay. And like, I think there's already been, you know, you look at the pipeline, how there's a lot of sequels. But that's what the, he, he's not going to be a $20, 30000000 million man where seven bucks gets to call the shots anymore. Studios have him. Studios have him because he had a run where basically he was making money. The Jumanji movies made money, right? Like animated movies he did made money, except for what? Super Pet, right? Like Trust that's what I'm saying. He's cold. Look at look at what he's been putting out. Red Notice. Nope. Super Pets. Nope. Black Adam. Nope. Skyscraper. Nope. Like he's cold, people. Like look at the run. It, it is what it is. And when the numbers are Trump that, driver. when mm -hmm. the numbers are that, Studios, the studios run you, not the other way around. Yeah, 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 yeah. He just isn't ready to give that up yet. But that's what's coming for him. Yeah, this is a very interesting uh, update in terms of our uh, ser ongoing series of rock moves, Brian. I, uh, this is going to be very interesting the next coming weeks because he has to make his rounds, and is he going to go on these? Is there going to be an uh uh? sacrificial lamb to ask him tough questions about this behavior. Even John Campia reached out to people that he knew and they were confirming all of this. But it just goes so to show you, is right? Not, this is not good, Brian. It goes to show you, right? The image that he purports to convey through his social media about how hardworking he is and how professional he is and how philanthropic he is. It's like, you never know these people. And at yeah. the end of the day, a lot of them are still cut from the same, you know, I'm a star cloth. But yeah. to me, it's black. I mean, I said it all goes back to Black Adam because, you know, if the year was 2018, the height of superhero mania, and quite honestly, coincidentally, almost the height of rock mania, if he puts the exact same movie out in 2018, I bet you the box office is three times what it was. More money, more money, more money. <laughs> if he comes out... Two years after it was announced, not 10 years, when things have fallen off and you're banking on The Rock, the name, and it all falls apart. The Black, Black Adam will be the, 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 the one you look to that really, uh, the inflection point of where his career yeah. takes a downward spiral. That's it's like that's what I mean. Like historically, it's significant. It's where it proves he's no longer the bankable movie star, and where it proves the superhero genre is not not an automatic. Because in 2018, I'm telling you, 2017, like the year you're talking about, 2016, in that range, if you have Dwayne Johnson headlining a superhero movie, I don't care how bad it is, <laughs> that thing is a massive hit, <laughs> and it was a massive failure. In 2023. Oh, yeah. yeah. No matter how you want to put it, that movie was a massive failure. Wait for The Rock to tap out.
let's see what he comes up with because it's gonna be very interesting. It's gonna be very interesting. Let us know in the comment section below uh, what you guys think of the latest in the rock, the rock move saga. Uh, will he recover? What does he have to do? As will he have to be managed? As Brian said, will he? I think Brian is right. You have to let the the people that do this and not go on his ego and just say that I'm the rock and can do whatever you want. Now, rock moves, your moves aren't going to work anymore. People have already seen and are confirming these things. How does that make you look? It only makes you whatever to your peoples, the peoples that are yes men around you. They're not going to tell you anything different. But when it comes to making that deal, you'll know. We'll see you next time on the Nerd Jam Report. The show goes